Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another quick DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new McFarlane toys for the upcoming The Flash film. We have Batman and his rockin' Batmobile. First up is Michael Keaton as Batman, Batman 89, Batman Returns, The Flash 2023, right? We get the idea. It is closest to the original Batman 89, wink wink, minus the yellow belts. Nice artwork on the back side, and of course here is the barcode if you want to go ahead and pick this guy up. These are all starting to hit store shelves now, but any good Batman definitely needs a good Batmobile. And here it is in a giant, enormous box, not even joking yet. Here's a little mini Toy Biz Batman just for scalature. But equally as nice, very cool to see, it brings back all those nostalgic feels, right? You go, oh man, I got that cool Batmobile, the Batman figure. And it says on the back of the box, you can jam in almost every 7-inch figure that they make. Spider-Man could probably drive it too, for those interested. But, in either case, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane toy straight from the Flash film. The new Batmobile and Michael Keaton. Batman. And while I got all you Kenner nostalgics here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And here is all the figures. Now, if you want to see the totality of the wave, you can go watch my full video on everything. But for the sake of this video today, we're going to focus on Michael Keaton Batman and his Batmobile. Now, this Batman it does come with some extra hands. So he has item holding hands and fisted hands, which is nice to swap out. He also comes with his gas grapnel and battering, which are both painted silver. But I got to say, the actual figure himself, this is pretty fun to have, I will say. There are some wonkiness in the ears, but for the most part, it's really fun to have a Michael Keaton Batman again. Plus, he's got the cloth cape, which just resounds in the whole Kennerness of it all, right? Very cool. Again, not really stoked on how they did the rounded off ears, perhaps so children don't hurt themselves on it, is which I'm assuming, because kind of looks like he has like alien antenna, you know what I mean? But the other thing is he's got side eye. <laughs> You couldn't get away from it on this one. It's it's noticeable and it's not at the same time. It's not something I'm going to you know, complain too much about. The articulation is solid just, again, like the Michael Keaton Unmasked. Very cool. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, fisted hands you can swap out with the open weapon holding hands. You got the big cape, huge heavy cape, which is awesome. Allows him to sit in a vehicle, right? And that's coming up. You get some nice articulation in the head. Although, as we know, he can't really turn his head like that in the costume. Perhaps now, in all his years of wisdom later down the road, he's fixed that. He's got the same kind of green, dark wash on the boots. It's really fun. I, I really like this figure a lot. It's hands down, as you can probably tell. It's my favorite figure out of this wave because of just all the fun things that you can do with this. But like all good Batmans, well, they need a good... Batmobile and I would tell you that except for there's a big glaring problem right in the middle canopy area and no this is not altered this isn't changed this is taking photos and video and it's very noticeable that the canopy is gray however we'll get to that in just a second because the tires are great the big exhaust ports and all the machinery and all the different details there is a lot of awesome things with this Batmobile. Number one being the price, right? The fact that they released it for that much money. But as good as it looks, it's very much the old Kenner Batmobile, both in its weight, its feel, right? It doesn't feel cheap. It's still very heavy, but it has that toy quality aspect to it. And that's not a bad thing. But the bad thing being that the canopy is great and I don't know what happened there so I'm gonna tell you unless you could just put that to the side and go like sure why not no I wouldn't get this Batmobile because until they have the black canopy that's all I can really tell you the back side of the Batmobile has all the red lights I think 
some fire plug-in kind of effect would have been awesome. I think they really should have put that in there. That would have just made it have a little bit more oomph, right, in displayable options. But again, it all comes back to that gray canopy. But it's wonky, right? You got this button at the front right here, which you just simply push, and that will jettison the canopy, to which then you can unlock it and open it up. You go inside the cockpit. It's a single-seater. Maybe it's a single-seater now. It's always a double-seater, right, before the whole Batman Returns thing. The steering wheel does not rotate but it does have paint for days. I'm actually impressed to see the amount of paint they included for all the inside parts. Thumbs up, they did a great job there. In talking about the Batmobile, you have to fix the big wings on the back, right? Which is not a problem, they just simply install, easy peasy. Again, it's very light, it has that toyetic Kenner feel to it, the wheels will rotate on the bottom. Again, very much Kenner. It just has a bat symbol and then all the different line work that simulate parts of a car. And yes, for those of you wondering, Batman does fit beautifully inside his massive Batmobile, which that's awesome, right? You get all that cool stuff uh, going on. Yes, the canopy is great. I still can't believe. After all this, after like so much hype, the canopy is great. But as you can see, yeah, Batman fits in there nicely. You may wanna have to heat up the hands. They're very rigid to get him to hold the steering wheel. So keep that in mind or just keep a pair on the steering wheel, which is what I may end up doing. Now, in terms of the ears, you have to kind of, you, you figure it out. You gotta kind of finagle it. You gotta make it so that his ears fit beneath this part that overlaps right there. And that way you can close the canopy easy peasy. But the cool part is, again, aside from the wonky canopy, not to bring that up every single time, but it's something that really stands out. As you can see, the photos, the fun that you can have on your shelf is there, especially if you have the old Mattel DC Multiverse Alfred. He fits beautifully with this Batman, for lack of a better term, 89 Michael Keaton from McFarland Toys. I definitely like how they scale. You don't really think you'll win, do you? See, you can really have some fun with the photography there. Not only does Alfred fit, but I really think that the Penguin fits from the old Mattel DC Multiverse Signature Collection works as well. The height mixed with the Batmobile, mixed with some Alfred holding drinks and some Bat gadgets, that's stellar. So again, you kind of position Batman in front of that wonky canopy. You got the Batmobile going on. Eh, mom's the word, right? Of course, wink, wink. But what's really cool is that all the Batmans that McFarlane has released thus far with Christian Bale, now you got Michael Keaton in the Flash movie, and then you have Robert Pattinson. All these Batman figures look really cool together, and it really makes for a big Bat multiverse, except for uh, Ben Affleck over here. You stay over there in the corner, Ben Affleck, I'm just gonna say. But what's really cool, again, is all the villains from all the various Batman movies, not intermingling in all the multiverses and such, but to have them in action figure form on your shelf, that is wild to see. So again, I'd like to see Jim Carrey now, Poison Ivy, Uma Thurman. I'd like to see Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. You can really have some fun with toys on your shelf. It doesn't always make sense in the context of movies and story, but that's where you get to have fun is with toys. And speaking of which, all the Kenner Batmans that I've gotten over the years... It's really a lot of fun to add yet another Michael Keaton-ish Batman on your shelf. From the pop-out wings to the gold one, <laughs> to the white Arctic Batman, to the Toy Biz Batman. This is great. This is a lot of fun. Again, brings back all that nostalgic feels. And of course, that's what they're going with with this Flash movie. The Flash has been replaced in this movie with Batman 89. Let's be honest, everyone's going to see it for this very reason. But in all honesty, if you had to grab anything out of this new movie line, the Batmobile and this Batman are definitely the standouts. So that is gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys, The Flash action figure line. And thank you again to my friends over at McFarlane Toys for sending these all out for the purposes of this video. We haven't seen the movie, so the context of these figures vary, but we're going off of just how the figures are made, the accessories, the looks, the sculpt, the paint. So as a whole, the line is a lot of Batmans and Flashes. And that gets kind of boring, to be honest with you. Yes, there's some good sculpts and such. Yes, there's a Supergirl amidst all these. 
But again, Batman and his Batmobile definitely reign supreme. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything The Flash movie. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, fingers crossed, it's all we can hope for at this point, is that the movie is really good and unveils a brand new era for the DC multiverse. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.